Hey guys, have you ever needed to return two values from your method and still want to pass by value? Have you ever just wanted to have an object really quickly thrown together with a bunch of different types of basic types in it and not have to worry about creating a class or creating a struct? Well, I'm going to show you what to do in this case. It's called tuples and um, really easy. So this video is going to be short and you probably won't need to watch it twice, but if you have to watch it twice, nobody will know. You know, soak in the knowledge and enjoy. Hope you like it. So there's just a basic console app here. Now there's a couple different ways to define tuples and they have some great uh, built-in functionality, especially when it comes to string manipulation and um, parameters for functions. So here, let's just get right into it. So you could have a couple different variable types in the same tuple. So you could have, for instance, an, a string, an int, double, two different objects, whatever it may be. Uh, let's call it uh, my tuple, and then just give it some, give it those values now. You can say five and hello. Now let's just do another thing similar but slightly more interesting. So let's say you you actually gave it some variable names like uh, age and locate or address or something like that. Then you could have say it's 15 years old, addresses you know, 12 South Street. We'll call it my tuple two. Now, when we print these things, we get some different options. Now, gone, of course, are the days of string dot format. Now we use string dot interpolation. So if I wanted to do, you know, console dot write line, I don't have to do string format. I could just do the dollar sign, let it know it's string interpolation. And I could say, uh, I am blank years old and I live at blank and we'll just fill those in now with the variable name so if I did the first example I do my tuple dot item one item two because we didn't define variable names so I do my tuple dot item two let's zoom a little bit less <laughs> All right, so now if I was to do it the second way, let's just copy and paste to get started. I'm going to go with uh, my tuple two. We can actually pick age. And here we can actually pick address. Now let's, let's just take a run that so you can see it. We'll get to some more interesting tuple features right after. There you go. I'm five years old and I live at hello. Oh, what happened there? Oh, of course, we didn't put an address there, but you could see. And I'm five years old, I live at, or 15 years old, I live at 12 South Street. So that's working just fine. You probably run into multiple scenarios in your programming career where you've just needed to return multiple variables from a method. Now, there's tons of ways to do that. You can use the REF keyword, you can use the OUT keyword which both of those just mean we're going to pass a basic type by reference. Tuple is just another way of do it is another way of doing that. You can pass back two basic types with the tuple by value, not having to worry about uh, that. So um, I guess we could do a quick example of that. Let's do here a static get string and number. Um, And we'll give it the type of tuple. So we can give it the type here, just like that. Then we're just going to return that type of tuple. Could define those tuples right here in the method. And we could return it. And why don't we do here? We can get that out. By calling the method. Let's call it my tuple two and run it. There you go, I'm 15 years old and I live at 12 South Street. As you can see, there's only one return value here, and that's how we defined it. Pretty cool stuff. Now you might be wondering can I assign a tuple to another tuple just like a regular variable? Well, yes, you can. 
but they have to be the same type and in the same order of types. Something that's kind of interesting there is two. Again, you might guess it, but you could still do comparison on them if the types are convertible to each other. And you might be questioning what I said earlier about the pass by reference, pass by value. I was correct there. It is passing by value. What you what you might want to consider though is I did not include or I'm not using system dot tuples. I'm using value tuples here. There is also a system dot tuple. If I F12 on that, and this is the original tuple, which is still available has a lot of similarities, but these are passed by reference. You don't get all the same uh, benefits. I want to go to system.value tuple, which is what we've been using. As you can see, it's a different class quite entirely. Just to show you guys a system.tuple example, you could do var my tuple equal to new tuple. And you can give it as many types as you want to use. So you can do string, int, car, for character, you know, double, etc. Uh, five, ten, two of them, however many you want. Uh, give them values, A, B, C, five, maybe a character X. Put it together like that. You may run to, into some garbage collection issues there too, but a little easier, you could do just tuple.create and let it figure out the types for you. Same, it'll create the same result. As you can see, there's uh, benefits to um, the new tuples, the value tuples. We're looking at here, these system tuples, you could always revert back and use those if you run into issues, but I recommend using the new type of tuples and um, just some last minute things to remember about them just in case um, if you see like throwing a debugger up there and using Roslyn to see those values that we showed earlier like um, address instead of item 2 you're not going to see that and that's just because it, it throws that stuff away when it runs uh, it's just kind of for you to see it's compiled down um, and there are some issues with using them in Razor but you can get away with that by declaring them in your view well I hope that was helpful Nice short video on tuples, simple subject. Go ahead and use them and enjoy them. Take care.